just announced the signing there of, of forward Leon Boyd. Do you just want to give the fans a, a bit of an introduction to Leon and what sort of player he is and what yeah. he can do at Glenhorn? Leon's a, a young lad, he's only 17 years of age. He's he's very quick, he's a centre forward, he's attacking minded, he's a, he's a, he's a great lad to, to have in around the group. Um, he comes full of confidence, he's very sociable and very nice lad to speak to. Um, but he's somebody who, who came to our fence in this past while and we wanted to try and make sure that we could make something happen that, that he could come to Glen Torn and um, he's, he's one that'll, that'll fit in. He's obviously young, he's, he's a bright future in front of him and, and, and we'll try to get working with him and try to progress him as quickly as we can. And he's somebody that's obviously signed on a professional contract, so we obviously rate, rate him highly. Yes, we do. Uh, we think he's a bright talent. We think he's, a, we think he's got a bright future. and. I think uh, what we have done this past while in terms of Kirk McLaughlin and Harry Murphy and Johnny Russell and these boys, we've we've tried to identify the the best young talent sort of at that age and and try to get them to come to Glen Torn, try to get them in pro form so that we're also building for the future and um and Leon certainly fits that bill. And obviously, from somebody that's been heavily involved in your football like yourself, what what benefits do you see for for them young lads coming into a full time environment like the Glen Torn? And training every day full time and being amongst this environment. Well, I think that's the that's the one thing that they'll not get with the majority of the clubs in this country. There's only there's only probably three that can offer the full time ele- element. Um, so they're coming in here. They're working on their obviously their general fitness. They're working on their physical fitness. We're trying to make them stronger. We're trying to make them bigger. We're trying to make them better. So with training with with better player or good, maybe not so much better, but real good players every day. Um, it's going to improve them. Um. Listen, everybody wants to get across the water or everybody wants to go to England or Scotland whenever they're 16 years of age and unfortunately not everybody gets that opportunity. Um, so this is probably a great opportunity for the for the, for the local kids at, at that age if, if we feel they're good enough we can give them that opportunity here. And in terms of, of, of that, you know, obviously playing is the most important thing and the likes of Johnny Russell, Josh Stewart, uh, Kirk McLaughlin all featured a number of times for our under 20 side up until Christmas. We've decided to, to send them out alone for the rest of the season. What was the reason obviously behind that? We just felt that those are, those individuals probably weren't getting enough game time. Um, yeah, they were playing for the 20s, but they weren't playing regularly for the 20s as well, just with the way first team games were, were landing and stuff. So um, they weren't getting enough game time with ourselves, and we, they needed to be challenged that wee bit more and we wanted to send them out and, and, and send them to good clubs like Dundala, like Lock Gall, where they can go and they can they can challenge themselves and, and they can play men's football which is real competitive football and, and we'll see how they get on and listen we have we have good reports about all the boys coming back to us I know Kirk has hit the ground running with Lock Gall, he scored a couple already um, and I know Johnny Russell has done extremely well at Dundala so far as well so Listen, it's good. It's it's good whenever we can see an eighteen-year-old doing very, very well in the championship, and and then he's returning to us the following season to do pre-season. And uh, with them players moving out, it, it suppose it gives opportunities for younger lads in in the sixteens and eighteens at Glen Torn to move up and play twenty football and maybe age fifteen and sixteen. How do you feel that that's then beneficial for for them young lads? Well, I think it's just progressing. It's it's saying that they're that they're progressing themselves. I think. I watched the under 18s last night, and and there's 2007s playing there, and and which is which is fantastic. The be, our best kids have to be challenged, and they have to be pushed, and and we have to make sure that we're being seen to be giving them the right opportunities, not pushing them too much, not pushing them too far, but but certainly encouraging them that there's a a bright future in front for them. So. Hopefully, in the, hopefully within the next couple of months as well, before the end of the season, we can see a couple of the younger lads coming in and, and having regular training sessions along with the first team to, to just give them a little taste of it and, and see how they get on. And I suppose it's great for them young lads as well at that age who still might be in school, but to be able the opportunities to come down and, and have strength and conditioning, that extra bit of training with the likes of Sandy on top of what they're being coached at during the week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, listen, if, if a, a kid of of 15 years of age wants to go and make it they have to make sure that they're if, if they haven't started looking at their strength and condition inside of it they need to be starting looking at it now um, they need to be doing everything in their power to try and make themselves better to try and make themselves stronger the Irish League has improved over this last few years in my opinion in terms of the physical attributes of players so um, everybody who's everybody who's getting close to that stage of their career they have to make sure that they're preparing themselves properly and, and listen Sandy's 
absolutely fantastic here at, at Glen Torn in terms of of what he does in the strength and conditioning side from all age groups, right from the right from the youngest ones or right from two thousand and eight probably. So it's um it's a case that it's a case that um they just have to be doing what's right to to make them better players in the future.